hello youtube welcome back to my video in this video we are going to check how we can read values from postgresql uh, table using java jdbc so in the previous videos we have checked how we can create a table uh, in postgresql using java and then we have inserted some values in the table and uh, as a continuation of the previous video we are going to check here how you can read the value from the table so we have created the connection class and create table class and and, uh, insert value class okay and same way we are going to create a new class as uh, read value and here we are gonna uh, write a method to take the values from the database okay so uh, first we have to create the main method as usual to do start the program and then we have to uh, as uh, in the previous video we have to create the connection class statement uh, connection object statement object and uh, the connectivity class okay so this will be same i'm just copying that and pitching it here and then we'll have to create a try catch block as i told and uh, if there is uh, any exception let it print it here okay and now we have to create a query here string query equals so here the query if you want to select all the values we can uh, just uh, call like this select star from employee okay so this uh, query will take all the values from uh, the database now uh, to hold the values uh, which uh, the query is written we should have a result set also okay so result set is the object which holds uh, uh, the values or uh, uh, the values which we have uh, taken using the query okay so we have just created a new a resulted of the result set object now with the statement we have to bind the connection so it is like this statement equal to connection dot create statement and then to take the values what you have to do is you have to call uh, the result set object and uh, with the statement we can execute the query like this so it's a uh, statement dot execute query and it will be the query as uh, the argument here okay that's all so once uh, the query is executed the result set will hold the values from the uh, table and we can simply iterate that uh, using a while loop so if uh, rs dot has next rs dot next it means there is next value we can just uh, simply print uh, the value like this rs dot get string the first table uh, first column of the array set let's see if it's uh, coming or not so if i'm just uh, going to run as and uh, java application it should oh it's not an uh, the table is not an employees it's just employee only now go to run as java application again we can see the first uh, column uh, from the result uh, is actually uh, the SL number one two three. Okay, so it's getting printed here So if I want to get uh, the second and third values getting printed we can just write like this second and third so it will print uh, First second and third of uh, each row the third column of each row So I'm going to run as and Java application you can see it is getting printed one by one so i'm not putting a print ln here so it will come in one line i guess yes you can see one john cena and india so this is the first row actually here and uh, the second row is uh, cena usa from this and the row is this okay so uh, you can call either call like uh, this uh, with uh, the column number or uh, the uh, column name uh, exactly with the column name as uh, the column name here is sl number first and then it is uh, name and address okay so it's name and address this will also work okay so you can just simply change uh, the sequence if you want like this so if I'm just going to run as and Java application, you can see uh, it's get printing uh, John first and then serial number and then address uh, as the, the last column. Okay. 
so if you want to take uh, any specific uh, value or specific row from here we can just uh, give a uh, condition here where sl number equal to 3 so this will take only the third uh, row from the table so let's try that if i'm just going to run s and job application you can see it is taking only the third uh, row from the table or uh, if, if you want to specify the name also it will work here so i'm uh, just specifying the name as cena as there is uh, two values it should return me no it's actually case sensitive i think name there is cena right yes so if i'm just going to the application it should return me two rows as this continue is satisfying in uh two uh rows okay so hope you got this how you can uh take a value uh, with a simple example from the pg or postgres database uh, so if you have any doubt in this please comment below so in the next video we will check how you can edit a value and delete a value from uh, the database